Let's go ahead and access and log into our Prisma Cloud platform. After you purchase Prisma Cloud from the Palo Alto Networks Marketplace, for example, the welcome email you receive from Palo Alto Networks includes a link where you can access your instance of Prisma Cloud. If you are the first registered user, a Palo Alto Networks Customer Support Portal account is created for you, and you can log into Prisma Cloud and start securing your cloud deployments. For all other Prisma Cloud users, when your Prisma Cloud System Administrator adds you to the tenant, you receive two emails. Use the Welcome to Palto Network Support email to activate the Customer Support Portal account and set a password to access the support portal before you click the Get Started button in the Welcome to Prisma Cloud email to log into your Prisma Cloud instance. The link in your welcome email varies depending on whether you are using Palo Alto Network's Customer Support Portal credentials to log in or if you are using a third-party identity provider for single sign-on. The recommended browser is Chrome version 72 or later, although other browsers will work as well, but they are not explicitly tested. In our example, we will access Prisma Cloud by using a URL link method. Log in with your user credentials, username and password, and click Sign In. After we log in, we are presented with the Prisma Cloud Admin Console page. Navigation is on the left-hand side in a vertical menu. We will explore these menu options in another lesson. Notice in the bottom right-hand corner is a blue informational icon. And if I click on the icon, this will open the Help Center dialog box. I can access what's new, technical documentation, and other resources. In some cases, clicking on a resource link will open another page in your browser. Navigating to the Docs link, and then clicking on Product, opens the Tech Docs page where user documentation is available with regards to the onboarding of new public cloud accounts, along with many other topics. With regards to onboarding from the Search Text box, if I type in Onboarding, from the search results page, you can select separate articles for setting up AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform, respectively.